Welcome to the debut episode of Geeking Analysis, the show where I'll take many aspects of many different universes throughout fiction and analyse them. In this video, we'll be exploring the Doctor universe and delving into the major ranked weapon in the history of the Daleks. Enjoy! The Paradigm Daleks is an elite faction of purebred Daleks conceived by the progenitor in Earth's orbit during the Blitz. The birth was witnessed by the 11th Doctor and the three surviving members of the collapsed New Dalek Empire. The Dalek Quintet consisted of bulkier, multicolored Daleks, each of which had varying ranks defined by their differentiating color schemes and functions. Each of the ranks were as follows. The Supreme Dalek was the leader of the Paradigm Daleks in the absence of an Emperor Dalek. It consisted of a white color scheme with grey sense globes, a trait that shared with the rest of the Paradigm Daleks besides the Eternal and Paradigm's first Emperor, which existed solely in an alternate timeline. There was only one per operational territory, however, in the event of an absent emperor, there would be one sole supreme Dalek throughout the Empire. The purpose of the Eternal has been left unanswered both in-universe and behind the scenes. It is one of two Paradigm Daleks to sport black sense gloves, but it is the only Dalek rank to majorly sport a yellow casing. However, presumably a variant of the Eternal that had dark grey sense globes was developed since a yellow paradigm Dalek with the same colour scheme existed in an alternate 1963. The Eternal was unique to the paradigm. As the name would suggest, the scientist Daleks were scientists. Their job was to develop new Dalek weapons and technologies as well as analyse enemy genetic and physiological makeup in order to exploit them for weaknesses. They were orange. Strategist Daleks consisted of a colour scheme that was a reverse version of the Daleks of the original Dalek Empire, since it consisted of a majorly blue case and grey sense globes, instead of a grey casing and blue sense globes. Its purpose was to formulate battle plans and feed them to the drones. They often took up an unofficial commander role, particularly when the Daleks were fighting a battle. Strategist Daleks were capable of watching Dalek battles play out in present time through the lens of a drum fighting on the front line, as the chief strategist, a notable strategist Dalek, demonstrated. The first Paradigm Emperor existing in Northern 1963 was likely a strategist Dalek due to it sharing the same colour scheme as a regular strategist Dalek. The drone Daleks were initially the lowest ranking of the Paradigm Daleks. They were red and fought on the front lines of Dalek battles, carrying out strategies devised by the strategist Daleks. Subdivisions of the drone Daleks existed, with one example being the Emperor's personal guard. They were like regular drones except they donned a black dome like Emperor guard Daleks always have. Other Paradigm Dalek ranks existed and were developed later on after the 11th Doctor's first confrontation with the Paradigm. There were two Dalek Emperors, one of which was mentioned previously, the Emperor Guard Daleks, also mentioned previously, and the Dalek Prime Minister. All of the other Paradigm Daleks ranks I intend to cover individually in another video somewhere down the line. Minus the two Dalek Emperors, the Paradigm Daleks had a selection of weaponry tucked away within their casing, being revealed when required. The standard Dalek weapons ready in place in the Dalek weapons section, a manipulator arm and a Dalek blaster, could be swapped out and stored within the casing for a range of more powerful weapons and varying tools. Existing from the London Blitz in 1941 all the way to the destruction of the Dalek Asylum, the Paradigm Daleks have been present throughout almost the entirety of the 11th Doctor's life, even if they were working behind the scenes. The Paradigm Daleks were one of the major forces that were part of the Alliance, an unlikely coalition of monsters who share the same goal, to save the universe from the Doctor, believing the Doctor and his TARDIS to be the cause of the cracks in throughout time. Working alongside the Cybermen Jadun, some Tyrant Salurians and many more, the Daleks locked the Doctor away in the most secure prison in the universe, moments before the universe's collapse. The prison was known as the Pandora and was located under Stonehenge, being opened in 102 AD. During the later stages of the original Paradigm's existence, with the establishment of the Dalek Parliament, the Paradigm slowly phased out the multicolored Daleks in favour of reintroducing the Time Warrior Daleks, which had been wiped out to near extinction after the destruction of the NDE. They had been properly wiped out moments after the genesis of the original Paradigm Daleks. Until they were phased out completely, the Paradigm Daleks, specifically the drones, had become officers within the Paradigm and served as superiors to the reintroduced Bronze Daleks. The Bronze Daleks later became the main Dalek units for the new Dalek Empire, 
With the designs and colour schemes of the old Time War era Daleks being reintroduced to replace the colours of the short-lived original Paradigm Daleks. So, for example, the Time War era Supreme Dalek, with both its colour scheme and the unique design, replaced the white Supreme Dalek that's been present since their genesis in 1941. With the reintroduction of the Bronze Daleks in the old Paradigm Daleks phased out, the Paradigm continued on as normal. Well, as normal as any Dalek would. They fought against the Cubans during the Dalek Wars, rebuilt Scar with the help of Davros, and continued their endless conflict against the android Mavellans. There we have it folks, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed the debut episode, and I hope you did, feel free to like the video as well as subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It really helps the channel and helps fuel my motivation to continue. I aim to post weekly videos with Netflix video, delving into the Stranger Things universe and exploring the controversial Operation Project MKUltra. So stay tuned for that and I hope to see you in next week's video. Bye!